Hello everyone, it's now 11.42 a.m. in the morning. Excuse me for yawning. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. So I know I did a video um after midnight. Um, so I'm surprised and shocked that even though I got some sleep, um, last night, I mean, yesterday afternoon, I'm surprised I got sleep last night and this morning. And I think I woke up, mm, it was sometime, oh, they're making my eye itch. It was sometime after eight o'clock this morning that I woke up. So, usually, um, I eat my breakfast in the dining room, but today I went to, um, just take it up to my hotel room to eat. So, today I had the oatmeal, um, I had oatmeal, I was going to get a muffin, but somebody took the last muffin so I had the oatmeal and apple juice and a little bit of milk the milk tasted um a little sour and then I um yeah I came upstairs and had the um the um the eggs and sausage and oatmeal so then um excuse me <laughs> well, by me be being um still sleep deprived and trying to recover, um doesn't look like I'll being forced to have to live like this. It doesn't look like I'll ever get to fully recover. So, I um <coughs> excuse me, I um. I'm, I had, um, you know, worked on a fiction short story this morning. It didn't come out the best because of my sleep deprivation. I still feel like I need more sleep. But remember I told y'all the night before last, I got absolutely no sleep and I got rained on. But, you know, even though I feel... I. You know how people say that we can be our own worst critics? But, of course, the perps are overly critical about everything, but those bastards don't count. You know, but aside from any gang stalking um, infiltration, if gang stalking had nothing to do with it, you know, if if I was just a regular person that's not being gang stalked, and I wrote the short story that I just put in a community post this morning. Um, like people out in society will feel like that I did a better job than I thought I did. And then they will say, don't be so hard on yourself because we are our own worst critics most of the time, you know. But, um... But I plan to work on some more short stories later on, but I still feel like I need more rest. And I feel, wow, I, I think I have just one pair of socks left. And I feel like, well, I don't want to throw them away, but from the rain, from Sunday and Monday, they, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. It was very hard for the for the socks to dry off, and and then they ended up getting more stinky and more mildewed. So I have to take the socks and my underclothes and my. It's hard with the sweatpants that you know. The socks, underclothes, and sweatpants and um, shirt to um hand wash them to I have to get it I have to do it today 
<coughs> excuse me, um, too tired to even do that, but I got to push myself to force myself to do it. Trying to accomplish doing that. And, um, and then today, I guess after I get off of this video, I'm going to be a dummy and eat the other freaking bag of Doritos. And, um, and then for dinner, I guess I will have, um, the spam rice and beans and mix it up together and put it in the microwave. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So for today, I don't have to worry about spending any money for today. And, but I have like, as I said, $6.55 in the bank and only $1 from panhandling on the streets. So I have been, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, last night. I mean, but this morning, I've been having to pee so much and so often, you know, having to go um, to the bathroom. And my legs still kind of hurt a little bit. And my hips were hurting this morning, moderately. Um, my hips were moderately hurting this morning. But I don't know if I will wash this dress or not. But I can't wash my hoodie. Well, I, it would be very hard to hand wash the hoodie. So I, when I, if I if ever I get to the opportunity to um machine wash, you know, then I could do that. But I don't even have the funds right now. So <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um. Yeah, but my mind is, yeah, I'm still feeling sleep deprived and so tired. So last night, well, not last night, but sometime this morning when I was asleep, I had another weird dream that, oh, wow, I didn't even, I didn't even correlate the short story that I wrote about fast food, um, you know, I, I didn't relate that to the dream that I had. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and usually, you know how I usually write about natural things and um, stuff related to the truth, but even though I put it in fiction form, but you know, I, I um wrote a fiction short story about somebody um you know having a love for fast food and then end up having health issues and then having to switch back to normal and then turn it also in addition to turn turning her life over to Jesus Christ and stuff. To help motivate myself too. But um But you know, if if my if if the short story gets on your nerves, why you why are you stalking and reading for four years, and think that you can try to control someone who you don't like rather than just leaving me alone? Oh wow, my phone almost fell out my hand. So I, I mean, I have a, the liberty to write about what I want. I mean, so I I, I could be wrong, but. <clears throat> Excuse me. As much as I, um, you know, and and I mean, and, and I I ate at KFC on Sunday, and I didn't want to. 
but um I tried those saucy nuggets and it was extremely salty and I tried that lemon bunt cake that was like a dollar ninety nine that was nasty and trash but the workers were really nice and but then the um the mashed potatoes and gravy had like absolutely no flavor and then um when you went to the front to try to get some water you could get any other drink or any soda but when when i wanted to get water um I had to go and ask the workers and they gave you this tiny little cup of water and so I couldn't even drink as much water as I wanted but I think that they had um I, well I try to stay away from the um carbonated sodas and I don't think they had lemonade so I was left to have the um the red fruit punch or whatever didn't want to drink that but um but yeah, um, the I think I tried the Korean barbecue flavor of the um. It tasted nothing like real Korean barbecue, but um. The, I mean, I was disappointed. You know, I haven't had KFC since like two thousand. Um, no later than two thousand nineteen, but it was before two thousand nineteen was the last time I ever had KFC. But, um, but anyway, last night I had this weird dream that I went to some kind of, what was a portrayal of a fast food restaurant. And I walked up in there and it was past midnight in the dream in the middle of the night that I walked in there and I was homeless in the dream and charged my phone and ate, I mean, ordered some food. And fell asleep waiting for the food. I ordered the food and paid for it. And the food never came. And I was wondering, well, what happens if, um, you know, the fact that they didn't even give me my food and I paid for it. So then, <clears throat> so, excuse me, some workers, um, it was weird because it was black people, white people. Hispanics and Asians making food and working at this fast food restaurant and in a way they like to work it, it, the fast food restaurant it's like the workers were working like as if it was a factory or something it was so weird and different and then um in the dream um when I told them that I, that I that I never received my food after you know me falling asleep or whatever, and then they had a Hispanic person, I think she was Spanish from Honduras or Nicaragua or something, and she walked walked up to me and was speaking Spanish to me, and I haven't even been using my Spanish or dealing with my Spanish, I pretty much gave up on it, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, and then um. And then, in in the dream, I mean, in real life, you know, I would see videos about cooking and food, and people, um, you know, marinating raw chicken and seasoning up chicken. Well, in the dream, um, the workers took the raw chicken and raw food. And mixed it up with cooked food and started, you know, mixing up, mixing it up with their hands and then serve it to me in front of my face. And I'm like, I was very confused and they were expected for me to take this home and go cook it. And I'm like, but wait a minute, how am I going to do this? <clears throat> Excuse me. First of all, you mix raw food and cooked food all in one. And then you tell me, go home and cook it. And I'm like, I'm homeless with nowhere to go. What do you mean? And then the Spanish female started walk up to me and speak in Spanish. And then next thing you know, I woke up, the dream was over. And I'm like, how strange. You know? But I have some other dreams that I don't remember. 
so I think I'm feeling like mild acid reflux and heartburn, you know. So my anxiety is really high right now. Um, so that's why you keep on hearing me say so um like and so um and all that because my when my anxiety is high and also my Tourette's and everything I I mean and the perps make it like it drives them nuts well but you still keep stalking and watching so you drive yourself nuts <clears throat> excuse me so I worked today I worked when I wrote my short story that was considered self-employment and work that was work. So shut up. It was work. I worked. That was my work. <coughs> Excuse me. So Grand Isle is not far from New Orleans. But I heard it's been flooding and been, I don't know about battered, but I heard that um, Grand Isle is being affected by Hurricane Alberto. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think it's a tropical storm. Alberto. And, um, it looks like for the, I'm going to have to buy some more rain ponchos. Um, with my OCD, I mean, that's why I don't use the reusable ponchos. I use the disposable ones because of my OCD and I don't use umbrellas because I can buy like a $30 expensive umbrella and it was still within five minutes the wind breaks the umbrella. So I feel like that's why I don't even bother with wearing umbrellas anymore. So my thing is the disposable, um, cheap 99 cent, um, or a dollar or $2 rain ponchos, <coughs> excuse me. So I mean, well. Well, my body feels so weak. But it's supposed to rain like tomorrow and Friday. But, um, I mean, yeah. I think tomorrow and Friday, but I don't know about Saturday. But then it looks like as if it's scheduled to rain every day next week. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is so hard being forced to have to live out on the streets. It was a little bit easier in Pensacola, but it was still very hard. But it, it, it still takes a toll on me. Um, I mean, um, and, and this is punishment that I don't deserve. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm um, too tired to even push myself to go and um, hand wash my other clothes so that they can be clean and not smell bad. You know, they didn't smell that bad anyway, but, <coughs> well, my socks do from, um, you know, being so moist and wet and not trying, you know, so, but I don't know, it doesn't seem like I have much to say, um, but I, I worked on a short story just a while ago, 
and you know I would like to work on a couple of more later on today um and maybe some other blog posts but I am deeply hurt and saddened um and frustrated that some other writing projects that I can't work on because that fake crusty dirty perp stole my damn phone <clears throat> excuse me um so it's a lot that I have to try to remember what I was working on and some things that um certain things I can't even um work on because since he stole my phone or I might have to start all over again so I'm gonna get off here now